Hello you all, this is Ice Cream Gecko and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Nestle Schöller Boom Boom ice cream with the chewing gum stick right here. Uh, the front looks alright, hashtag boom boom bastish, uh, we've got a strawberry fruit here, what I believe to be a vanilla flower here, a four, indicating that um, I suppose there are four ice creams in here and we are going to take a very, cloak, very quick look around. Uh, here we've got the ingredients list in Slo, Slo, Slo Slovakian, I, I would assume, maybe Slovenian. I, I'm not quite sure. Pause if we want to read that though. And also, pause if we want to take a look at this particular side. Let's turn this around. Here we've got the back. Pause if you want to read the nutrition table right here. And pause if you want to read the ingredients list in German right here. Uh, we've got strawberry fruit ice cream and bourbon vanilla ice cream with uh, a red fat glaze with uh, chewing gum flavor 20.1% and a chewing gum stick 13.3% with sugars and sweetness. Okay, with sugars, plural, not, not just sugar, sugars. That's interesting. So um, there are many different sugars in all sorts of stuff. I've never seen explicitly something being labeled as sugars in an ingredients list though. That's interesting. Okay, uh, let us zoom out again and open this up on this side. I bought this, um, okay, that, that's a good start. I bought this particular pack uh, yesterday for two euros and 49 cents at my local Globus supermarket and um, here we've got our first one. I'll put the rest of them back into the freezer and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, I'm back at the desk, so uh, let us open up this particular individually wrapped ice cream. Here we have it. Uh, looks, it looks okay. It's, it's red. Uh, we've got a plastic wrapped chewing gum stick here. Um, the scent of it is, yeah, it really smells of the chewing gum flavor. Oh, it smells really good. There is something that I do remember. I, I had Boom Boom ice cream before and the smell of this stuff, it's, it's fantastic. It's that, that chewing gum smell, but it's, it's not chewing gum, so you can actually eat it and just, you know, swallow it, I guess. Uh, love that, that smell of it. Okay, let's uh, go for the first bite, I guess, right away. So we've got that glaze, that fat coating on the outside that flavored one, which is um, crunchy enough. What I don't remember is that there are differently colored ice creams in here. That's why I was a bit surprised when it stated like strawberry flavor ice cream. I, I thought there was just be some sort of vanilla ice cream in the center. But um, we're gonna take our spoon right here and try to taste this uh, for the most part on its own. Flavor wise, there is a strawberry flavor to it. It is quite sweet, tastes all right. Consistency-wise, I can't really say too much about it, though. I mean, it does feel quite watery. Watery in a pleasant way. Now, let's try the center right here. That center of vanilla ice cream is, is quite a bit more boring. I mean, it doesn't really taste of, of much at all. Okay, this is not just the vanilla ice cream, but uh, let's try that again. Yeah, same story here. Um, doesn't really taste of much. I have to say though, the, the flavor of this uh, coating with that chewing gum flavor is fantastic. It tastes like, like nothing I really had before. Um, it's very distinct to this particular ice cream. Never really had, uh, had this particular flavor in any other, other ice cream. I, I really do enjoy it. Now with the, with the bigger spoonful of that vanilla ice cream still. Um, it doesn't really taste of, of all that much. Um, it's, it's pretty neutral in flavor. It does remind me a lot more of a, of a pleasant mild milk ice cream rather than a, a distinct vanilla ice cream. Okay, let's go for another you know, spoonful of a, of a mix of that right up top. Yeah, and in that mix you really do taste that Admittedly, artificial strawberry uh, flavor. It feels a bit artificial, but um, it's a very nice flavor. Really enjoy it so far. So um, yeah, this is this is really it. Uh, we've got that 
uh, strawberry ice cream, I've got the vanilla ice cream, that coating on the outside, which I could just try all by itself, right? And yes, this has got this distinct chewing gum flavour. Um, it really melts away quite quickly in your mouth. Not very resilient to the saliva at all. Um, it is quite pleasant though. It has got the chewing gum flavour without being chewy, which is fantastic. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm going to finish this off now and I'll be back with you and the chewing gum stick in just a second. Okay, the ice cream and the chewing gum flavoured coating have been consumed, so now let us get down to the chewing gum stick. Now if I still sound a bit sick, then uh, please uh, excuse that. I did have COVID uh, last, the last week and this week as well, uh, up until uh, the day before yesterday I had a positive uh, lateral flow test, I think they're called. They're just called Schnell test here in Germany, quick test. And um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't all that fun, I have to say. I had um, a presentation due uh, this week on Wednesday, and I was the only one who had to log into the meeting via WebEx and uh, did the presentation online, which was embarrassing. But um, I'm glad that I still could get the points right and not have all that work be for nothing. So that was cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, if, if you want to uh, call me out for not being able to taste vanilla due to COVID, so yeah, you, you can definitely do that. I don't think that I really lost any taste though in uh, any of those days at all. No, that was not one of my sy symptoms, no. And then th this one here is just weird because maybe the rest of the flavors are too intense for vanilla not to be like tasting of anything at all, but um, yeah, it's it's just it just is what it is. That, that chewing gum flavor is great, though. So uh, let's see what the actual chewing gum uh, tastes of. So it's odd to describe, but it it tastes like a very basic chewing gum. It is quite you know a brittle chewing gum, as you can see right here. It only becomes really chewy when you bite on it. But it is that very flavor that we have in the coating on the outside as well, I think. So um, flavor-wise, so far so good. This entire thing. I'm, I'm happy with it and um, I think this is where I'm going to end this particular section of the video and uh, we are going to jump into the rating with the review sheet. Alright, the consumption process is complete and we are ready to rate this with the review sheet. The first impression of this ice cream has been decent, the packaging looked nice, the ice cream itself was looking somewhat decent as well. A bit deformed, but uh, it is something that I can certainly live with. Colour-wise, same story here, I don't have anything to complain about. It really comes of not, not necessarily too close to the colour on the outside. Uh, it is just because the, the coating of this ice cream is thinner than it maybe was previously, I'm not quite sure about that. But the colour of the ice cream itself, the coating, um, <laughs> and I guess this like plastic wrapped uh, bubblegum stick, chewing gum, bubblegum, oh, I didn't say bubblegum as of right now, uh, of that stick, that looked all right as well. Um, it does come close enough to what is um, uh, put here on the packaging, uh, I think, for it to be a one out of one in this particular section. Consistency and texture wise, 1.5 out of 2 available points because the entire thing has been decent overall. The only thing that could have been changed would be the creaminess of the ice cream itself. That could be a bit more creamy, um, especially this um, strawberry ice cream that felt a bit more watery than it probably should but then again when it is really hot outside which is usually when you consume ice cream that would be uh, a blessing then I would assume therefore I still give one and a half points out of two available ones in the consistency and texture department taste wise four out of five available points because overall it tasted quite all right the only thing that I can really complain about is the lack of vanilla flavor now I do not know if there's very little vanilla flavor in there or if it's just that the the balance of vanilla flavor to strawberry flavor really is is off in a way that the uh, strawberry flavor is quite potent and I do not know if it is either or but um, with the strawberry flavor you don't really taste much of vanilla at all in this case and therefore I can't really give five points you know um, the, the flavors that we did have were all right though not perfect but the chewy gum bubble gum flavor was was nice uh, the strawberry flavor was nice and therefore I still want to give 4 out of 5 available points right here. Theme realization wise, 0.75 out of 1 available one, uh, simply because, you know, that vanilla flavor, that, you know, it, it just isn't there. Um, it is advertised to be there, 
you don't really taste it at all, I don't think, and therefore just 0.75 out of one available point. It's not all there what has been advertised. Um, it is still good overall, so 8.25 out of 10 available points is a final rating for the Nestle Schola Boom Boom ice cream. Um, it's, it's a classic here uh, in, in Germany, I think. Maybe it is um, in some other countries surrounding us as well, but uh, I don't think internationally this is a, is a huge hit. Um, the thing that is a bit disappointing maybe is, is the plastic on the ice cream itself, that you have to fiddle around with it to get to the, to get to the chewing gum, but maybe that is just um, happening to be a relic of, of older times, I guess. Therefore, this is still clinging on to life uh, and therefore yeah I think it is still okay to do I mean it's it's not so much plastic isn't it um, I wish though that they would just make the ice cream without the plastic and the chewing gum stick because the chewing gum itself is okay ish I guess but um, I don't know the ice cream itself, they should just put more ice cream in there and make it a wooden stick, I wouldn't care about that. Or make it with some other ice creams where they have got a licorice stick here, which you don't have to, you know, then uh, fiddle out of a plastic wrapper. That's that's a lot nicer as well. I, I don't know which ice cream it is, I'm going to look into that and maybe I'm going to have that in the future. There is one with a licorice stick. Yeah, that, that one goes onto my list right away. In any case, if you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.